I'm a bare face queen today, but I'm in London and I'm right by the Bare Minerals flagship store. I'm so excited because I'm going to be going and getting my makeup done by one of the Bare Minerals makeup artists. You guys requested it. It's vegan, it's cruelty free, it's not tested on animals. We're going to go get our makeup done. I'm so excited. I've got my husband with me. I've got my bare face. I really hope that they create a makeup look because I haven't used a lot of Bare Minerals products. I've actually only used their blush. So I'm really excited to go and try all of their makeup for the first time. And you've got to let me know if you like the makeup look. So stay tuned to the end because you are going to see how a Bare Minerals makeup artist does my makeup. Let's go. Look at all this amazing stuff. I'm so excited. I've never tried their foundation. I've tried this when I was younger because everyone went crazy for it when I was younger. But look, they've got everything. So this is their flag store it's a really nice store be original be natural be good I love that Hayley Bieber looking unbelievable oh my god look at the gift sets oh cute 108 pounds for 25 pounds I'm up for that yes yeah, so I've heard very good things about this primer so I really want to try that today they've also got skincare which I didn't actually know about the skincare so I'd like to try the skincare there's loads Oh wow, and then yeah, all the mineral veils, lipsticks, and then they've got different foundations, they've got a tint, I'd like the radiance tint to try that, I'm really excited, this is a really nice store, wow, look how cool this is, so look, they're paraben free, I can't say that word, I can't say that word, chemical sunscreen free, I can't say that word, I, can't, I don't want to say the word and do it wrong, but there you go, look, really cool, and look, this is what they have as well, they're amazing. And I just watched one of the girls do the makeup and it was unbelievable. How oh, cool. So nice. I think this is where I'm going to be getting my makeup done. And they also have this really nice flower wall. You can get your photos done. And also they have the ring light. And they also have a Spencer. <laughs> this is me before, but I'm bunchy. Just quickly, this is going to be a voiceover because it's loud. But Liz is going to do my makeup and I want to show you all the bits. I'm very excited. When you get 25, 35 minutes, a bit, and you're just trying to a minute. I hate you. It's like minute. I'm editing and I'm like, why, I'm Jim, why? Everything is special. Yeah. But yours look amazing. No, they don't. Thank you, though. It's very hard to take compliments, I think, sometimes. We were talking about this earlier. I think as English people, we don't like doing it. Yeah. No, it's an awkward thing, isn't it? We send it straight back. We're like, yeah. you look lovely no, too. No, no, yeah. you, you do. Like, uh, not me, no. No, I don't. I've, had, no. I've been really tired. I don't look good. <laughs> yeah, we put ourselves down. It's so weird. <laughs> we're, we're very bad. We it, are. We should just say, oh, thank you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for that. That's all you yeah, have to Just a little <laughs> thanks. Thanks, hun. <laughs> Right, I think we're all set with all the products that we're going to use. The lovely Liz laid out all the products right in front of me and these are the products that we are going to be using on my face. The first product we took was the Total Cleansing Oil, Oil Obsessed. And oh my goodness, she started rubbing this into my face and I went into a very deep trance. I was relaxed. She said that you really need to take a lot of time to massage it into your face and work it really into your skin and really take time on your skin. And that's something I am actually really realizing as I get older, how much the prep is so important in the beginnings of the makeup. I am glowing, I look good. She then said at home you take it off with a flannel, but she took it off with two warm cotton wool pads and I was just in a sleep. It was lovely. Nice Lovely skin. Oh, thank you. Tell you, use these good. Products. Oh yeah, I do actually. Yeah, I do actually. I've I've invested in my skin more now than I ever had because I think when I was younger I was so like nonchalant about it because you're like my skin's good, you're young. But I think when you get older you're like I need actually good products. To, yeah. That's the thing. I think that like, soon there's going to be like a generation of people who don't have to like yeah. feel like they need like, skin treatments because then people are going to be actually investing in their skin. Yeah. yeah. Angels, look at that for a freeze frame. Don't I look good? Speaking of skincare, I actually filmed a little get ready with me just before I left for the Bare Minerals this morning. So I want to jump straight back to that quickly and then we will come straight back to the makeup. Enjoy a Rooney. Ooh, did I just say that? Ignore me. I'm a cringe. Don't actually ignore me though because still stay with me. Okay, I love you. Angels, I've just woken up. So before I go to get my makeup done by Bare Minerals, I'm gonna get my skin looking popping. So I'm just gonna take my Foreo Luna Mini 3 to get my skin popping. I've already got my cleanser on. You will know if you're an OG. I've been using this since 2017, since I first started my YouTube channel. I was the OG of the Foreo. So I'm just gonna go to the app and I'm gonna click start and I'm gonna pair them up via Bluetooth. Hold it down and she's paired. What does that say? It wants to access the camera, all right. Okay. Not only is it amazing for the environment, it's the best cleanser I've ever used on my skin, fat. 
weather. We use these viewfinders to do this. It's got 12 different intensities, my little huns. When it's coming up to winter, my skin is dry. I'm about to need intensity 10. But when it's in the summer, I don't need that much intensity. Do you know what I mean? Pulsations just cleanse my skin. Get that neck, because that's where the aging signs are. It's waterproof, it's got a two year guarantee. I know it might be expensive, but the thing is, if you look after your skin, that is actually priceless. It's just changed my skincare, my makeup, my base goes on so well. It's just absolutely absolutely changed the game. There's also a quick glow mode, which you just press twice and it's just a little glow booster. I do that when I'm on the go, you know. Please ignore my hair, but my skin just look like a dream. Honestly, it's like going to the spa. I've got my very own at-home spa treatment. Let's go back and get my makeup done now. Woo! Next product was the Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion, and this goes before moisturizer. It is a shot of minerals for your skin. It's amazing, especially if you're dehydrated on the skin, and it basically just rebalances and normalizes your skin. So she took a couple of pumps on her hand and just started to really work this into my skin. It was so lovely and very thin. The neck as well, it's good to like make sure you're taking the serum and moisturizer down the neck too. Yeah, that's a telltale sign, isn't it? The neck. The neck always gets the bottom The back. neck. Yeah. We then took the Bear Haven Essential Moisturising Soft Cream. This was a wonderfully hydrating soft moisturiser. She began to pat it into my skin, then really worked it very softly, always lifting up, making sure she wasn't dragging my skin down, and it just really hydrated my skin. So relaxing, I'm falling asleep first. <laughs> Wow, I love it. I went, then showed me the nighttime version of it, which is the Vital Power Sleeping Gel Cream, and it was very much a gel cream. It was a lovely, lovely base. It's got hyaluronic acid, which is gonna be amazing for plumping the skin overnight, and it had this really thin, dewy texture. Next was the Primetime Brightening Foundation Primer. This is gorgeous. It has got a pore minimizing effect to it, but it also has a wonderfully rose gold tint sheen to it. The rosy gold is sheen. Look a warm glow on this. Yeah, because I don't like the pearly ones where it looks really white. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but look but at you that. feel like you're going to get. I mean, it doesn't interest him, does it? He's probably playing golf look, back Look, he's looking. Look, 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 look at that. Look at that. It's nice, isn't it? Paying attention. I love it. You can play golf. Say, just... Oh, you can be in it. <laughs> The lovely makeup artist Liz then just took a couple of pumps and started to work it into the center of my face. She said that there was actually a normal primetime version of the primer, which doesn't have any luminosity to it for anyone that doesn't want to have that brightening effect, that maybe just wants a lot more of a matte effect. Lovely Liz then took the Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil Foundation, and this was in the color Neutral Ivory. She only took a small amount, which you see here, and honestly, that brush was so nice. That's the brush that actually complements the Mineral Veil Foundation, and it was just so soft and lovely. She began to work it into my skin, starting in the center, and she said you can build this really light to full coverage. Liz also explained it doesn't sit in the hairline, which is a massive thing for me because foundation normally always does, so I love that. It's making me feel all nostalgic, really, thinking back to when I had first had it, you know? Yeah. When you're like, it's just such a nice, like, I know this sounds really stupid, but it's crazy where your life brings you. Like, I'm here now, mm -hmm. and you're using it on my skin. I feel so, like, lucky. Because when I was younger, I remember being like, oh, I won't be able to ever have things like that when I was older, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know, yeah. Oh, wow. Like, it doesn't look like I'm wearing anything, but it looks mm -hmm. covered. It's meant to look. It's like I've got foundation on. It looks like I'm completely, like, flawless, doesn't it? That's actually crazy. <laughs> and that's just literally time out. I just, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we had the reaction from the, the, the girl who came before. Very like, similar. look. Yeah. Oh, that is actually amazing. <laughs> like, legit. You'd like me in something like this, wouldn't you? It's quite, like, nice, isn't it? Natural, but still covered looking like you really just looking like you this is what i mean you still look like yourself yeah she then began to work the remaining minerals into my skin because she hadn't used all of it so she wanted to just go over where she thought needed a little bit extra coverage next we took the bare skin complete coverage concealer Liz took a tiny amount and started blending it where I needed coverage and then she would blend it out with her finger. While she was doing this, she was explaining to me that it's actually £15 to get your makeup done and that is redeemable against products. Plus, they actually do complimentary lessons where people can come in and be taught how to use their products, which I think is absolutely amazing. 
Next was to set the face with the illuminating mineral veil. It has a beautiful sheen to it. So use, she used this to set all over my face, just starting where I needed it the most in the T-zone area and then applying it all over the face. It has a wonderful texture to it. It's so light and thin, like a dust but with a tiny amount of a sheen. Next was the Bounce and Blur blusher in Pink Sky. It has this beautiful bounce texture to it. And she just took this on her finger and started to work it on the apples of my cheeks. Again, just bouncing in the product and blurring it on my face. Next for bronzer, we took the Bare Minerals bronzer and it is gorgeous pressed powder bronzer. And this is in the color Warmth. What we started to do first was, Liz explained she does a three motion, so she goes in the figure of three on the top, down to my cheekbones, and then down to my chin. Then we took a tiniest bit of the bronzer into my crease on my lid, just to create. Next, for the highlight, these are the highlighting drops. They are a gorgeous thin texture you can build up. She just took this on the high points of my face with a lovely stippling brush. For eyeshadow, Liz took one of the new Gen Nude liquid eyeshadows and let me tell you, when I swatched this, look how pigmented it is. It doesn't even do it justice. It was absolutely divine, so creamy and buildable. Liz took this with a flat definer brush and just placed it all over my lid. It was so easy and creamy for her to blend out. It didn't go into my lines. It was honestly a joke product. It was unreal. That is absolutely stunning. To further intensify, Liz took a loose eye shadow, and this is actually from a limited edition collection, but this was so pigmented and beautiful. Liz also explained you can wet it down and make it really pigmented by just spraying your brush. I'm gonna be honest with you, I was so shocked at this product. This is the One Fine Line Eyeliner. Look how thin it is. It is so easy to be precise. It was so creamy as well. Liz started to tight line the top of my eyes. She also went into my wash line and on the bottom and then just began to smoke this out and it smoked out so easily. Next for brows, Liz took the Brow Master in Coco. This is a gorgeous spoolie on one end and the brow definer on the other. Liz starts at the arch of the brow to create definition over there at the beginning. She then said that she likes to go to the front very lightly. She also took a lighter brow pencil than I would normally choose because she says it looks more natural and less harsh, which I did actually really like. For lashes, Liz took Lashtopia Mascara and she said it's absolutely amazing. She didn't use the brush on me for hygiene reasons, but I really did actually like this mascara. I had no drop down throughout the day. For lips, we went on to the Gen Nude Lip Lacquer and this was in the colour Can't Even. She began to apply it from the back of her hand with a lip brush and this was just such a juicy, lovely gloss that made my lips very plump and full. Lastly, Liz went in with a little bit more of the Bounce and Blur Blusher. You, you love this. Yeah. <laughs> Why is so cute? Thank you so much. I love it. Oh my god. Yes, please. Spencer's gonna hold it. My skin is a joke. This is a mineral foundation, hunt. You saw it. I'm actually so shook. Look at my skin. Wow, this is Spencer's favourite makeup look I've ever had, actually. So he loves it. This is what you'd choose for me, wouldn't you? 100%. I really like it. I'll link everything in the description. I'm so glad you've liked it. I'm going to go home and we'll finish it. So there you go. I love you. I love it. Hello, beautiful angels. I am now home. I've probably got stuff in my teeth because I've just been eating. I'm also in my joggers and my bathrobe. But I just wanted to say I really hope you enjoyed this video. This is the makeup look since I got home. So we spent about another two, three hours in London. Then we travelled home. So this makeup has actually been on my face now. It's 9pm since one o'clock so we've had a good eight hours so I think that this makeup has lasted amazingly I keep looking at my skin I went into the pub at the toilet what sorry I went into the pub at the station and I was like oh my god my skin looks so flawless I think like I actually really love the way they've done my skin it just looks so natural and just really really airbrushed but it's just such a little amount of product she put on I just couldn't believe it really myself I also really like the eye pencil that was probably my favorite thing as well it got really because it's so thin it got really really precise and then she blended it out I love the blushes I think the skin is my favorite thing for the moment though but yeah again I love the eye foils as well those eyeshadows those liquid eyeshadows 
eyeshadows were so good. Sorry, my hair's all over the shop. But the liquid eyeshadows just blended out so amazingly. And you know some liquid eyeshadows, sometimes they can kind of go into creases? You can see here. I just think my makeup looks really seamless. It's lasted really nicely. So let me know again down in the comments section below which videos of these you want me to do, which makeup counter you want me to go to next. Do you want Huda Beauty? Do you want Anastasia Beverly Hills? Whatever you want, I will definitely, definitely do it. I will link everything in the description product-wise and all the colours. And I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm really, really impressed with it. Make sure you let me know as well which video you like the best. So out of Too Faced, Benefit, Charlotte Tilbury and now Bare Minerals, which makeup look is your favourite? I want you to let me know down in the comment section below which one's your favourite. And thank you so much for watching. I'm so, so, so grateful. You have no idea. I've had a lot of tears in this makeup as well because I've been really emotional today because I had a really, really stressful day after I actually went to get makeup done. So... I've had one of those days. It's been one of those really bad days, but getting my makeup done was such a plus. So yeah, I have had tears and the makeup has still stayed intact. So that's what we wanted, a nice dewy finish with tears, <laughs> without the tears, definitely. Is this just a coat hanging there? Lovely. Well, until next time, I'm gonna love you and I'm gonna leave you. Bye angels, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button. I love you guys, bye.